Hey guys, it's Gabby and Kenny. We are over here at Beckley Creek Park in Louisville, Kentucky, and we have the 2021 Toyota Supra. This vehicle is crazy awesome, and we're gonna take it for a drive, right, Kenny? We are, we are. I think you had a lot of fun driving it out here. I did. I was in the Tacoma, she was in the Supra, shocker. <laughs> But we're going to get this thing out on the road. This thing is like about 50 more horsepower than the 2020. This is the 3.0. And we're going to throw up the drone footage, get you a little bit of driving time with it, and we'll see what you think. All right, Gabrielle, we are out here. We are rolling around here in this Supra. You know, they put an extra nearly 50 horsepower in the 2021, so you got to be a little bit jealous if you had the 20 and then you see the 21 and the 3.0. Yeah, you might need to come in and trade it for the 21. Yeah, and we've only got two right now. They won't be here very long. <laughs> well, we do have another one on the way in, but it's already sold. It's the blue one in the special edition. Nice. So, yeah, Beckley Creek's a great place to bring this out. Got the kids out rolling around on their bikes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice day for this. You know, one of the things I like a lot about this is, I don't, I'm hoping that you can see this okay on here, is just this cluster that's right up here. It's a really stylish cluster. And the interior obviously screams BMW, doesn't it? It does. Yep, it is beautiful. Everything from the shifters down here to the sport mode, which we'll play with here in a little bit, to how you operate all your controls here is clearly BMW. This vehicle also does have that driver assist package, which is really nice. So what comes with that is that dynamic radar cruise control. Uh, there's the blind spot monitoring as well, which is nice. Very know. nice. Uh -huh. And then you also have the rear cross traffic alert. And there's also the parking sensors with the emergency braking. Um, so those are all gonna be those, you know, really nice safety features when you're driving a sports car like this. I'm sure you enjoyed it on the drive out here, didn't you, in traffic? And then you had an undercover cop pull up behind you and you got a little nervous? <laughs> it did make me a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, but I did get a little nervous. Well, yeah. You know, one of the great things about it is it's got this heads up display. I'm hoping that we can see this on this camera and it's actually showing me that I'm speeding by three miles an hour. Ugh. Maybe yeah. I need to, maybe I need to blur this out. Okay, so the other thing that I love, I love music and I have a kid, so I have to try and keep the volume down. But when he's not in the car, I really do blare my music. So this one is a 12 speaker JBL audio system with the amplifier. I mean, this sound is nice. It is, what's so great about it too, is it's all in this tight little area. I know. So it really feels like it's just been formed to you just like the seats are. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about a few performance stats on this vehicle, because let's get real. I mean, it's a super, it's a performance vehicle. It's not like you're buying this thing to take your family on a vacation with the four of you. There's not enough room for that. But what it does have is zero to 60 in under four seconds. And there's the 382 horsepower with 360 pound feet of torque. That could get you in trouble. It definitely could. I almost got in trouble <laughs> with the cop. <laughs> Oh, that's probably why he was trailing. I was not going, I was going 30, like, well, no, I was 55, 60 something. Word it, I already got out of Oxmoor Toyota when they saw you pulling out on the Shelbyville Road. <laughs> There's the 8.8 .8 touchscreen. There is the navigation and it has the touchpad rotary, which is right here. Yeah, um, see that? So when you're driving, you don't have to like mess around and try and touch up here, which can be very dangerous. Um, you'll have it right here, which is super convenient. There is also the wireless Apple CarPlay and it does have the compatible wireless charging. You can actually see my phone is charging right now. A little blue light means it is working. Um, so that's nice too. You don't have all the extra cords. A lot of technology in this vehicle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it screams Toyota reliability and safety with BMW aesthetics on the inside. It's, a, it's definitely a nice compilation by the two of them. Um, I agree. It's impressive. One of the things I think is really neat about this too is this rear backup light. This actually has some uh, resemblance to if you were doing uh, IndyCar racing. That's the light that lights up when it's raining. But what we all really want to hear is what this thing sounds like.
Well, as they say, that doesn't suck. <laughs> all right, guys, that was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I hope you all uh, had fun watching us drive and play around with the 2021 Supra. Now, if you all have any questions, feel free to let us know. I will have all of our contact information listed right here. And we do have two currently in stock, so they're probably gonna go pretty fast, right? Very So quick. we have the black and then there's the white one too, right? This is called Nocturnal, I think. And I, I don't think know exactly, is. the white one, it's got a fancy name, I'm not sure what it is, but we'll put a link to it down there so you can see it too. We will. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you all soon, bye.